Once, in a small village, there were two brothers in a poor family. They were Nanda and Yuva. Yuva married a poor girl, whereas Nanda married a rich girl. After marriage, Nanda drove Yuva out of the house. Yuva's luck ran out further. All that he had was a piece of useless land. One day, he was sitting outside his barren land. He saw a sparrow's nest on the top of a tree. Lovely sparrows. These sparrows have enough food to eat. I don't even have that. I'm not able to support my family either. When he was thinking, suddenly an eagle attacked the nest of the sparrows. And fought with the sparrow. The brave sparrow fought with the eagle and drove it away. However, the sparrow broke a wing and fell down. Yuva ran to the sparrow. Poor bird. What bad luck. He took it to his house, applied medicines on the sparrow's wounds and fed it properly. In a matter of two days, the sparrow was hale and hearty. It flew away happily. Its chicks hatched after a few days. The sparrow flew away with its chicks. One day, Dear, let us leave this town and move on to another town. What will we do with this land? This land is of no use. Maybe, but I'm not interested in leaving this place. Suddenly, they heard the sound of a bird. Yuva came out and saw the sparrow. Yuva was immensely happy to see the sparrow. Minu, come and see the sparrow. The sparrow came and sat near Yuva. It had three seeds in its mouth. It kept the seeds near him and flew away. Yuva was surprised by the act of the sparrow. Dear, what is this? They appear to be pumpkin seeds. Minu, what will we do with these three seeds? But the sparrow is very affectionate. Is it not? Of course, it's quite surprising. Why don't we plant the seeds and see? As you please, go and get some water. Both Yuba and his wife planted the seeds and watered it. Night came and they went off to bed. The next morning, when Yuba came to the garden, he shouted in wonderment. He was not able to believe his own eyes. Minu, come fast. See this great miracle. Minu was immensely happy to see these three fully ripe pumpkins. Is it a magic? The sparrow has brought the blessings of God to us. Let's sell these pumpkins. We will eat one and sell the other two. Yuba brought in the yellow pumpkin and cut it. His eyes widened in astonishment. From the pumpkin came all sorts of food. Mino and Yuba ate well. 
Dear, let us bring the other two pumpkins and cut it too. Yuva brought the second one and cut it. From the pumpkin came all sorts of clothes and jewelry. Minu almost fainted. Yuva restored her to consciousness. He cut the third pumpkin. From that came loads and loads of gold and silver coins. Yuva took a sack and gathered all the gold and silver coins. He was rich. He built a beautiful palace, gave food and clothes to the needy. Soon, news reached Nanda. Nina, did you hear about Yuva? He is the talk of the town. There is something fishy. I will find out. Nina went to Yuva's house, found out the cause of their new wealth from his wife and informed her husband. Nina, immediately get a sparrow from somewhere and place it in our garden. The servants were informed. They caught a sparrow, broke its leg and brought it to Nanda. Let me now apply balms to the wounds of the sparrow. He applied the medicine and let the sparrow fly away after it was healed. Soon the sparrow returned and gave a single seed to Nanda. <laughs> Nina, come here and see our luck. What a surprise! But we have got only one seed. I think we will be getting everything from this single seed. Nina went and planted the seed. Both husband and wife did not have a wink of sleep that night. They waited for the day to dawn. In the morning, Nanda ran to the garden. He saw a huge pumpkin. Hooray, Nina! We will drive Yuva out of the city. Both of them took the pumpkin and cut it. Huge swirls of smoke came out. Nanda and Nina watched in surprise. Suddenly, there was a big blast and the house collapsed. Both Nanda and Nina were reduced to the plight of beggars. They lost everything because of their greed. Love is natural. Nothing can be achieved by force and greed. 